What's up, you guys? I'm about to try to explain this to you guys the best way I can, the fastest way I can. I'm about to, I'm here to tell y'all what happened to me and my husband at Bowtie Massage, uh, Bowtie Recline and Dine Massage, you see, uh, Cordova. So, me and my husband had a good time or whatever. It was his birthday. We did the whole little shebang. Uh, we did the massage chair, the professional massage on the table. We did the shower, the hot, the shower, the steam shower. We did the jacuzzi. As soon as we left the jacuzzi, we went to the, we went to eat dinner. So, we go to eat dinner. And we noticed that the, you know, the employees was looking at us kind of funny. But we didn't know why. Okay, so we get to the table or whatever. We sit down, we order our food. Here comes this lady. She's she's the manager. She's the white lady. She comes over. She comes over and she immediately she looking she looking kind of mean in the face. So me and my husband didn't know what was going on. She comes to us. In her hand, she has a condom. Okay? So she walks up to the table, she pulls out the condom, was like, Did you and your husband use this in a jacuzzi tub? And we was looking at each other like what the world? No, we, and you know, we told her, we was like, no, we didn't use that. And then we was like, uh, we was like, no, we didn't use that. What you, what, what you mean? She was like, well, we clean, we clean, we make sure we do a thorough cleaning and we found this. You guys were the last ones in the jacuzzi tub. And, uh, me and my husband was like, you know, we don't even, we not, we don't get down like that. We're not going to do nothing like that in a public place. And then we was like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all do a third cleaning, why didn't y'all find it when the last people, with the people that was just here before us? It was only two people that used the jacuzzi that day, which was us and a couple that went in before us. So at this point, I felt like my husband, he was being kind of, he was, he took it better. He, he took it a little well, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't getting out of character none with the lady. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be calm about the situation too then. So, and, and first of all, lady, you, first of all, this lady came to the, she, she is inside the restaurant with this breath condom. She got the condom wrapper and the condom in her hand. That's so unprofessional. Like, why would you come inside of a restaurant with a condom in your hand? That's so disgusting and we about to eat. So, okay, so anyway, boom. So we tell her, you know, we didn't do it or whatever. We asked her. And she she get to telling us how they they got the cleanest, the top line, top jacuzzi or whatever. And she was like, they didn't find it inside the jacuzzi tub. They they found it on the ground or whatever. So she goes to say, to say, um, well they have to do a real they have to do a real thorough cleaning this time because you guys were the last ones in there, so they did an extra cleaning. So why they didn't do that before we got in there? You know what I'm saying? This is. This supposed to be a clean, and we wouldn't know if the condom was in there or not because it's a, it was dark, and you know, the mood was set, it was dark. They just had some little sparking lights or whatever in there. So we didn't know, we didn't see it. We didn't use, we didn't actually do it. Obviously, it was the people before us, and they didn't catch it until after we left. But at the same time, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, she was, this lady was basically, she was stereotyping us because we was a young couple. I guess she thought, that we was young and we just, you know, we just on that kind of stuff or whatever. And when she came at us wrong. So anyway, the waitress, I, we get our waitress. So she, I guess she get to apologize and whatever. And I was just so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. I know you guys are embarrassed. My husband like, nah, we're not embarrassed because we didn't do it. And so, okay, so the, so at the restaurant, um, our waitress. Obviously, the waitress didn't know nothing about it because she was being real nice to us at first. So, my husband, he was like, he, you know, he wanted to step outside. So, first of all, the, the, the manager, she done left. She left. So, we, we get our food. We eat our food. The waitress never came back. So, my husband decided to step outside. So, he steps outside. When he come back in, he was like, the waitress outside with the manager. He was like, she been out there the whole time because we were looking for her. Okay, so, boom. He tells the he tell her that we was ready for the check. She didn't come back in until about 15, 20 minutes later. She was out there smoking. So she come back in. She comes immediately comes to the table and says, You guys, um, I'm so sorry. She's just so guilty. You guys, I'm sorry. Me and my manager was talking about the cooks. Now, we we ain't green. We know what's going on. 
y'all so y'all talking about the cooks why why is it necessary why was why do you feel like it was necessary for you to tell us that y'all was talking about the cooks that was thing one so that's how you know she was being guilty so we of course we know y'all out there talking about the situation so boom all right so they see the couple right behind us a couple gets seated behind us our waitress walked off and came right back after the couple gets seated they gonna sit and waited till they sat down and come over there and says you guys whatever happened in the jacuzzi tub that has nothing to do with me that has nothing to do with me she's like that's y'all business i work on this side they work on that side that's y'all personal business you know what i'm saying so the other people behind us as soon as she walked out they was like what's going on what happened in the jacuzzi tub so now you come over here talking to my people come over here and say that you know what i'm saying the first of all, the lady that came out in the restaurant, she got all these people looking around, all these people around her. They see you with this condom in your hand. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, so now they, everybody looking at us thinking that we actually did it when we did it. And they was basically stereotyping us for real. And I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I feel like they, I feel like they was being racist. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they was being racist. Um, so after that, huh? So yeah, I feel like that was being racist. I'm not even gonna lie. So me and my husband like, we gonna call them. And so, so by the time we get ready to leave, okay, we left out. We, you know, we didn't want no problems because we had just, we had, we had just had a good time until that happened. So we left out, and then I called them early the next morning. The young lady answered the phone. She told me to get her my phone number, or whatever, because the manager wasn't there. So she, the manager's supposed to call me back. She never called back. So I called her hours later. Another, another young lady answered the phone. She was like. Oh, my manager told me that you was going to be calling. Why would your manager tell you I'm going to be calling? They're so suspicious. They, really, they acting real suspicious right there, right now at this point. So, okay. The manager never called me. I get a call the next day from the owner. Basically, you guys, the, this is their family business. The owner and the manager is sisters. So, I get the call from the owner. She get to telling me. She was like, a, she apologized. She was like, I need to get the other side of the story. It's on one side of the story, man. She wanted to get, she was saying she got to get the other side of the story from her sister, which is the manager. She was like, I'm so sorry. I told her, I said, I said, the manager is basically, she's basically trying to make it look like we did it when, when we didn't. And she was like, um, so, so she gets to apologize and whatever. And then she was like, okay, we're going to try to see what we can come up with. I'm going to call you back. By, oh, she was like, I'm going to call you back by the end of tomorrow. She never called me back, so I called her back, which was like two days later. I called her back, and I asked her what's going on. And um, she was like, no, basically, no, she didn't call me. I'll take that back. She didn't call me. She had her sister to call me, the manager who came to the table with the condom. And she goes to say, my sister want to give you and your husband the massage chair for 30 minutes. And she want to give you a free dinner on her because she know how embarrassed you guys were. So why would you say that? You, she know how embarrassed we were. Like we actually did. Why did you keep saying it? That we embarrassed when we not because we didn't do it. So she, um, I tell her, I said, okay. I said, so did y'all find out who did it? Did you find out who actually did it? Did you call the people who did it before us? You know, who was in there before us? Um, I can't disclose that kind of information. I don't know nothing about that. I said, yes, you do, ma'am. I know your voice. I said, you the one that came to the table with the condom in your hand. She was like, yes, that was me, but I can't disclose that kind of information. Okay, cool. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to call I'm gonna call the owner in the morning because I, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. So I called the owner, and she was like, I just want to apologize for my sister. I said, your sister comes to me. She comes to keep coming to me like... She comes to being disrespectful. She acting like me and my husband did. And then I said, I don't want nothing that y'all got to offer. I was like, I want my money back. Now she want to offer me. Okay, um, can, I, can I get you and your husband to do it all over again? I'm so sorry. No, we don't want to do it over again. Because you know what? First of all, y'all disrespectful and it's unprofessional how y'all came to us. And now, and then she, she goes to say, well, my sister, she doesn't mean anything by it. And I told her how her sister went out there and told, was talking to the employee about it. She, I don't think she would do nothing like that. Yeah, she did. She did something like that. Because why would the, why'd the female come back in there talking like that? Basically, y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, they on some racist stuff. They unprofessional. And then they was just on the news. 
that was just on the news. One of their employees and did something to them, assaulted them some kind of way. But anyways, so she was like, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to give you, okay, you can get your money back. I really don't want you to get your money back. I want you to do the whole thing over. I said, no, I'm good. Just give my money back. What I look like coming back up in there and y'all think we did that. And then your sister comes and keep coming with all that other bull crap. So she was like, okay, I'm going to give your money back. So they supposed to give me half of my, they supposed to give me all my money back, which was $441. They supposed to give me all of it back. She was like, it's going to come half and half. So why well, only get one half? I only got one half back. I only got $200 back. So she told me I was supposed to get the rest of it by the end of the week. The rest of it didn't come, y'all. The rest of it didn't come, and I've been blowing these people's phone up. They ain't tried to call. They ain't tried to call me. They ain't tried to answer the phone. They got a call ID. They got a call ID. So every time I call, they don't answer the phone. Um. So they ain't been answering the phone for me for about I would say about five days. But I'm just here to tell y'all right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Their place. It's very unprofessional. And when I seen that stuff that was on the news, I was like, I wish, you know, I wish we would have saw this beforehand. But they they working together. They working together and they 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 very they they stereotyping people is what they doing basically. And they ain't giving me my money back. So I'm just here to tell y'all what they done did, what me and my husband experience was with them. And I just hope, you know, y'all can learn, y'all can I hope I done told y'all something about them, like for real. See, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I wasn't even, I was not gonna get on here and I wasn't gonna say nothing about them. But now they done pushed me to do that because you lying like you was gonna give me all my money back and what you did. You only gave me $200 back. $441, that's a lot of money, okay? That's a lot of money to be spending on some, some, something that, and then you done came up in here in this, in this restaurant with a whole condom in your hand. First of all, you nasty. Cause you done walked in there with that condom in your hand that somebody just got done using. You just you nasty for doing it, and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Cause it was in your hand. She didn't have on no glove or nothing. But y'all, I'm just I, I just want to tell. I just want to share that with y'all, like for real. I just want to share that with y'all. So y'all just don't go there if you want to have a romantic time with your significant other. You might have a good time, but. Then they're going to try to pin something on you because they don't know who did it. I'm just, just telling y'all. Just telling y'all what it is. But, alright y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.